What's up guys, it's the Two Town Gamer. So today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to make a Forge server for Minecraft. And now it can be any version, it doesn't matter. But today I'm just gonna make, you know, 1.9.4 because a lot of, there's a lot of mods on 1.9.4 now. And yeah, there's it's just easier. So you can go to download recommended, download latest, which it doesn't matter. I will use download latest because the latest is usually the better one. So if you have Windows, click install or win. If you, you can do universal if you have Linux, uh, installer if you have a Mac book. Any, uh, you can use Universal with any computer, honestly. But if you have a Windows computer, which is what I have, you're going to use Installer Win. So click on Installer Win and do not touch any of this, okay? Do not touch any of it. So just press skip right up here. Okay, no, no, I don't need help with anything. So once you press skip, if you have Google, the download's going to go down here. If you have a, if you have a Mac, um, it's gonna go down here at your taskbar, and yeah. So drag this. Hold on, let me just drag it to my other side. So once you're done with this site, since you can get viruses, get hijacked on this site, you want to click out of it right away because we're not gonna be needing the browser anytime soon. We will be needing it. Well, we don't need it right now. So once you have this file right here, Forge, from your browser or download file, drag it out and put it in your desktop. And what you want to do is you want to create a new file uh, uh, for your server. So let's just say, oh god, um, well whatever that happened. Uh, Okay, so it will be an empty folder. What you can do is you can close out of it. You can click rename. And I personally would call it one point, oh shoot, that's an exclamation mark. A uh, one point nine point oh point four Minecraft server. And to let me know that that's my Minecraft server. And that's about it. So once you have once you have this file, this forge file, you're gonna want to open it up by double clicking it. Now you should get something that looks like this somewhere. It doesn't matter. All you have to do is, uh, oh well. Once okay, so let me bring this here. So once this is closed, you can just uh, throw this in the trash. I can't because that's open. So. Let's see, we're gonna click install client for Minecraft. So that's installing Forge. So it should say uh, successfully inst uh, installed client profile Forge virgin, for virgin Forge 1.9 by 4, blah, 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 blah. And then you're gonna wanna open it up again. And you're gonna wanna click install server. Now it's gonna be red, don't freak out, it's fine. Just go to this dot dot dot. And then this file that you made that is on your desktop, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to desktop right here and you're gonna try and find that folder, file, whatever you wanna call, and you wanna double click on it and down here make sure that it is the right folder. So click open, now it's not red, everything's fine and just click okay. Okay, so, oh God. So it should look a little something like this. And now it does take a while. I mean, I have a good computer, so for me, it doesn't take that long. But if you have an ordinary computer with just an, with like a Intel Core or something like that, and it's slow, this might take a while, like probably like seven minutes. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So it's gonna say successfully downloaded Minecraft server, blah, 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 blah. So now what you wanna do is 
you can uh, move this to recycle bin. Now you want, if you want, uh, if you you don't really need this unless you need to download another client of 1.934 Forge. So you can just keep it somewhere. It doesn't matter, but I'll just leave it there for now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, okay. So this might not uh God. Um, you know, I'm going to stop the clip and I'll see you back on another screen, if that makes sense. So guys, we are back. Uh, I just needed to make a, you know, little cuts, cut, see, if that makes any sense. Um, well, yeah, let's get back to it. So I went to my computer instead of my monitor. So here we go. We have our fi one, our server file, whatever you want to call it. And so, once you have this file, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go, uh, well, if you have, uh, you know, um, usually you, s um, okay, God, Kai, relax, hold on, uh, I need a little, you know, speech break. Okay, so, usually when you get a new Windows computer, your taskbar will be down here. But I went to settings. Okay, I'll show you just a real quick, you know, thing. You can uh, uh, see where you want your taskbar. Like, you can have it on top or you can have it on bottom. You can have it on the right or to the left, to the left, which I prefer left. It's much nicer. And so let's just click out of that all right so now we're here you want to go to your windows thing and you want to right click so that means if you have a mouth 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 yeah of course you have a mouth if you have a mouse you're gonna use your middle feel okay that sounded so wrong you're gonna use your okay uh you're just gonna use your m finger okay and you're gonna right click on that and you're gonna click run so once you go to run and um, just put in c m d now just click enter and boom so now you're here in this little coding licking thing and yeah you might think like oh my god i don't know how to code oh my god this is gonna be so hard oh my god oh my god oh my god no it's actually not that hard all you have to do is with no capitals and no spaces put ip con fig that's it so I P C O N F I G I P config. Click enter, and all this stuff is gonna come. So what you're gonna need for this tutorial is your default gateway and your IPv4 address. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your server, and now let's just okay. So it looks like an ordinary server, you know, just. Okay, let me rephrase that. It looks like an ordinary file, and you're like, oh, I thought a server was going to have much more than this. Well, let me break it down to you. A server does have much more than this. All you have to do is first click Minecraft Server 1.9.4. Okay, double click it, and a, a little bit of things should start coming up. So you should get the server option, EULA, logs, and libraries. Now, if you're if you're curious and you're wondering, EU, I'm gonna show you what EULA means because I sort of forgot what it stood for. E, okay, so EULA, end user license agreement. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on EL. E e -U -L -A, and you're gonna wanna go to you're gonna wanna go to this link right here and I'll make sure to put it in the description but if I forget I forget but if you're making the server it will technically be there but first you have to see if you agree with it and if you do all you have to do is go where it says false erase that put true no capitals Click file, click file, and click save. And once you click save, you can exit out of that. Now, 
what you're gonna what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click Minecraft server. Gonna wanna gonna wanna gonna wanna. So you're gonna wanna click Minecraft server again, and this should come up. So you're probably like, oh my god, more coding. No, 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 no. Okay, no, don't panic. This is really simple. So this is technically the server. This is, in order to play on this server, this has to be open, okay? Yeah. So this is a server. You are the host of it. And I'll get uh, into ops later. Yeah, I'll get into ops later. But, you know, I'm just going to tell you now because, and I'll show you that it works. Um, you know, I'll just show you later once I open up Minecraft. So, it should say done, blah, 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 blah. What you're going to want to do is you're going to click stop. And this, now you can click the X, but this is a proper way to end the server without hurting anything technically. So click stop, click enter, stuff will happen, and that's done. So, now that you've done that, now what you want to do is you want to double click and open the Forge 1.9.4 server. So once you open that server, honestly, yeah, uh, you're going to have more stuff coming in, like mods and stuff. So, now for the Forge server, you just have to wait. Now it's a little bigger. Oh, no, actually, it's, it's kind of small because we already did this one. And the Forge one is, the Forge server is a smaller file. So, click stop. Boom, that will save. So now, you can go into your server. But wait, no, you may, you kind of can. So, a lot of people put their server IP here, which is your default, uh, no, no. So your server IP is going to be your IPv4 address. Now, I personally don't use my, put my ipv4 address in because um yeah it it doesn't work for me if i put it in so you don't want to put that it, i i recommend not putting it in it will be fine even though it says you should it's gonna be fine so you want to go to you want to try and find server port and so server ports right here and you're gonna wanna put 25565. You wanna make sure for everybody, you want the port to be 25565. If it's not, it's not gonna work. So, um, yeah, this is good. You don't need it anymore. So let's just go away. Let's click X and go out of that. Now, you're gonna need to open up your browser again. Um, so now your server is up and you can play on your server but there's one problem if you want to play with your friends you're gonna have to do what i'm about to do now this is the hardest part and it, the hardest part of making a server for all your friends and family to join and i recommend only friends and family joining this server so let's see you just all you have to do is now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this default gateway this uh, number and then you're gonna wanna copy it and then you're gonna wanna go down here back to Google control V boom punch that code in and so you might be saying oh what's this login thing oh my god I'm scared oh my oh my oh my oh my don't be scared about it just go to your router which is the Wi-Fi box, what people call it. I like to call it by its original name, the router. And all you have to do is you have to find it, your username and your password. Now it should be on there. I'm not gonna show you my password because I don't want you, yeah, going in my thing. Um, so just click apply once you've done it. Okay, apply. So the page is loading, blah, is loading, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now you're gonna be here and you're gonna be like, oh my God, why this is so confusing. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, 
Now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to... Okay, I think I just clicked on... Yeah, okay. Now, if I can remember this, I think it's a land setup. Ports. I think I got it right. Nope, this is wrong. Let's go to wand setup. Okay, yeah, it's wand setup. So what you're going to do... do is you okay no this is not one setup uh let's go to wireless two dot something 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 now usually for you guys it will be it, it will be in um okay so this is right so it's usually gonna be an advanced and usually they'll be advanced somewhere up here and yeah, you're going to click advance, and usually you'll see forwarding, port forwarding. Uh, yeah, you just got to scroll through. Now, this is, you know, I'm just going to pause the video till I find it. So, after like 10 minutes of trying to find it, I found it, and you might hear music in the background. That's my dad working. I know it's kind of unprofessional, but it won't stop my spirit from making a video. So, once you found your port, you're going to want to click add. And you're going to want to put description is just the name, blah, 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 blah. Inbound port to blah, blah. In, so the inbound port is going to be that same port you saw. So that's 25565 uh, five, 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 225565. Five, five. Then you're going to want to have it as TCP. Okay, I got a text. Um, and what you're going to do is the private IP address will be your IPv4 address. Now, my, IPP, my, IPV, bleh, my IPv4 address is 192.168.1.1. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to look at it before I mess up. It's 192.168.0.23. Dot zero dot twenty three. Oops, that's a that's okay. Uh, just gotta put a dot there, and that should be fine. And then logo port two blah 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 blah. It's two five five six five, and then we gotta go two five five six five and two five five six five five. And then you're going to add it to virtual server. Now, I'm not going to add it because I already created mine. So, once you do that, you can kill your browser. Hip, hip, hooray. You can kill your CMD. And what you're going to do is you're going to open up your Forge server. And you're going to want to minimize that file. Now, I'm going to open Minecraft. You guys might not be able to see it. It will be right there. Now you might not be able to see the launcher because it might oh, might be on my other screen. But whatever. So I'm packing the launcher. Don't know why it's doing this, but yeah, I've been opening Minecraft in a long time, so makes sense. It makes sense. I make 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 sense. Oh, make sense. Oh, oh, make sense. Make 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 sense. Mm -hmm. Please, 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 my friend, stop texting me. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on your 1.9.4. Forge. As you can see, you can't see it, but just go to Launch Options, Add New, My Configuration, that's just the name. For instance, I'll just do uh, 1.9.4. Far server, and then we're gonna release, and your forge should be on the very bottom. Click on 1.9.4. Resolution doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Click save, and then go to news, and then click on this arrow, and then click on or whatever you named yours, and click play. Now, I'm just going to let you know that this is a Forge server and that it will work. 
because I don't want you to think I'm a noob. Now, I won't be able to test it out with a friend because I don't think any of my friends are available today, but I will be using the server, probably for a role play. I will make another, oh, game crash. Unsupported, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's do that again. Okay, come on, come on. Okay. okay, whatever. That's probably on me. Uh, don't. It's okay. Uh, it's probably because yeah, I'm not using the right version. But you, honestly, you can use any Forge version. And it's the same exact process. Um, we, it's the same exact process with each Forge version. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to use the 1.7.10. Let's click play. Um, it should work now because, I mean, I've used this. Wow, is it really crashing on me? Lord, Lord, why are you doing this? Lord, um, oh, here we go. I guess I can, but it's not. Uh, and I'm just gonna create a new server now. This forge, even though it's a forge server, it still works on. God, that was loud. Uh, it still works on. What is it called, Kai? What the heck is wrong with you? Oh yeah, it still works on a normal version of Minecraft. So um, I'm gonna have to fix the Forge problem. I think I have to delete the whole server. But yeah, I recommend using 1.11.2 then. But um, yeah. Anyways, let's just click play. Um, so let's just wait. Okay, so now that it's loaded, go to multiplayer. And since you are the host of your server, all you have to do is okay. That's that's odd. Oh yeah, no, that's not odd. You know, let me delete this though. So once you what you want to do is you want to click add server, call the server whatever you want. I'm gonna call it uh one point nine point four baby. Yeah, I'm gonna put that. Be, be. Okay. And then you're going to put local host. Boom, baby, boom. Click that and uh, click that. Join the server. And remember, make sure that this is open or it won't work. So I'm just going to give it some time. Uh, look at my hand. Look at my fabulous hand. Oof. Okay, there's there's a there's some lag. Uh, uh god. Oh, oh I recommend using Optifine with this too. Uh that I am kinda rusty. Okay, so uh Yeah, okay, now it's working. So now that you you're in your server that you worked hard on because this is actually a really hard process. It's difficult. Um, what you want to do, all you got to do if you want to up yourself. Okay, well, let me give you an example. If you want to do game mo mode, even if you're the host, if you want to go in game mode one, it will not work because in the server, you are not up. So what you want to do is you want to go down here. You're going to click up whoever is in the server that you want an op oh god my computer is acting really slow yeah yeah okay so let's just op kai oh no wait shoot what's my username um oh god hold on t okay the two tone gamer. Okay, let's do this. Okay, uh, up the 
the two. Okay, now I'm okay. I'm still having two tone gamer. Okay, now when you up yourself, it should say server up the two tone gamer. And now when I do what I with the command, boom, it works. So now you're up. That's how you guys make a server. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I <laughs> hope you guys thought this video was good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely hit that notification button. And definitely comment because it will mean a lot to me. Comment down some new tutorials you want me to do, DIYs, game series. Um, but yes. But yes, uh, yeah, in that case, see you guys later. Bye, Two-Tone Gamer. Hold on, I got it. Two-Tone Gamer, out, baby. Out, baby, out. Out, baby, out. Oh, no, I'm just doing it. Okay, okay, hold on, okay. I'm experimenting some things, people. Bye, see you guys later. Peace.